Hi, this is Greg with my Ghost Writer movie review. Ewan McGregor plays a ghost writer who gets wrapped up in a world of political intrigue when he agrees to help the former British Prime Minister, played by Pierce Brosnan, write his memoirs. McGregor's character starts to worry when he discovers that the first writer hired to work on the project died under suspicious circumstances. The story seems to echo the Iraq War and Tony Blair and accusations that he was just a pawn for the Americans. And you can't help wondering whether the movie is Polanski's way of saying fuck you to the American legal system. You can't help noticing the irony in the fact that when Lang is accused of being a war criminal, he's welcomed with open arms in the U.S., whereas in real life, Polanski's been on the run from the American justice system for the past 30 years. And without getting political or personal, Ghost Rider is a good thriller, smarter and more engaging than Shutter Island, which also opened this week. Olivia Williams and Kim Cattrall are standouts as the wife and other woman. Government conspiracy theory, people will love the notion the CIA has been running everything. The ending feels more like a reveal and natural development from the story than the contrived plot twist of Shutter Island. Yet ultimately, the truth unveiled at the end is a bit of a shoulder shrug, though the closing scene will grab you. You might wonder whether some politicians actually believe their political convictions rather than just being played by the American government. But in the end, it's more of a conspiracy theory movie than an anti-war movie.